we're all going to talk about Kurrawa till, till the year we, we die. It's created such a talking point and such a challenge to so many people in life. I mean, it'll go on forever, uh, the stories of Kurrawa. I think we're at an end of an era, you know, this is the last year of Kurrawa and it may never be again. And I think it probably, everyone who has competed in any way up here at Kurrawa will forever, it will hold a place in their heart. The most amazing thing is when you walk down the ramp and you look at the beach and you see the surf. It's such a, a tricky beach and so many breaks. Two breaks, one at the start, one further out, a gully. It's a real test to your crews and uh, to be successful, uh, they are tested fully at Currawa Beach. I really like it because it's a surf beach. And that's what, that's to me what it's meant to be. Don't think it's worth worrying about anything except for how many sweet boys you take and how many rollocks. Currawa is unique to all other carnivals. There's so much emotion, there's so much hope riding just on one carnival, one event. It's, it's about teamwork and it's about challenging the elements. I mean, what else is there that's that tough and that hard? Uh, I can't think of it. We come down a wave late and the nose dug straight in, the boat stood end on end. That was probably the hairiest moment, listening to the oars fly out the boat as you're going 30 foot in the air. But Karawa just tests you that much more again. You know, there's nowhere to hide sort of thing. You know, we'd had a win and we're up there having a drink and and we turned around and looked on the screen and that was the first time we saw what had happened to North Bondi and Coogee and it was, it was really the most horrific you know, mishap I'd seen in surf boats. That, uh, it was a big wave and it totally swallowed them up. Here's Queenscliff coming down there, now watch what happens here. There's Bill Gola, that's Howard Christie and Matt Hamilton. Look at Bill Gola, it goes right up in the air. He's trying to get, he's got no sweep or in the air, so he, he's lost control, down they go, smash and crash, and that's 26 foot of boat rolling over there, and they led all the way. Water head on, look at this one here, there we go again, and this will be a back shoot, no doubt about it. There we go, down backwards. A late take off, what's going to happen here? Can he hold it? No, he doesn't. He doesn't, he's gone. He's gone, he's out of the boat. Now the girls are still there, they can still win this. You can be devastating. You can put, you know, you can put a, a nine months of work into it and you focus solely on that event and that's the, the pinnacle and you, you want it so badly and it, it just falls apart right in front of you, it doesn't happen. And you look at it and there's so many people can spend a lifetime um, trying to win an Australian gold medal uh, and, and, and never quite make it. For all the crews that haven't won at Karua, keep going and do it for your mates anyway. The love of the sport is good enough to keep you coming back. You know, that's what the sport's about really. If you're, if you're lucky enough to walk away from it with those friendships and those memories, you're very fortunate. draw your alley out, you line up there, and you take the challenge on. It's just, it's a total package. Unless you have that total package together, you're not going to win. Beautifully held, can he hold it straight? Gets it down the bottom, and now he loses it. They've got sideways, but he's still in contention. For Monster are going to win it, they're going to win it, and their girls are very happy. They are the first Lady Crew Champion of Australia. We've got it, boys. He looks around, we're over the line, and here he goes. Bye-bye, boys. <laughs> oh, you'll cop some of the North Darabin Hotel. <laughs> he just did that because he beat them too, and he knew it was coming. <laughs> Ah, oh, terrific stuff. He's doing bog leaps and leaps and all sorts of things. That's what it means to win an Australian goal. There they are, the boys. Look at this. Weren't they pumped before they started? There they go. Ah. Horrible. They'll win the gold medal. And what a great job they've done. That's two up. They won the under-21s and they've just come out and they've won the 18s. How good's that? Lawn have done it, the boys from Victoria, and that's the most convincing win we've seen in the boats all weekend.
They know they've got it. Karoa, what a club. They take away a dream. They can look back later on in life and uh, they can tell their grandkids that they were successful. What they did, it was, it's a fantastic achievement, what they did to win up there. Bill Golan, no doubt about it. Bill Golan, the yellow boat, they're gonna take the gold medal. They made every final so far. I think my crews can look back and uh, and know that they were successful at Karawa and feel really satisfied because they know they've taken on the challenge, they've done the work and they were successful. So they can be very proud of themselves. Crossing the line and realising I won, it's just a sense of achievement. You spend 10 months training for one day and when you cross that line you realise that you did it all right. You did the right number of stair runs, you did the right number of Virgos, you did the right number of you woke up the right number of mornings and went running. It just, it's just a great feeling to know that you did it right. For that one day, you did it right. When we crossed the line, I, I just remember feeling a sense of relief, but then looking at the four boys that I had beneath me and thinking to myself, how did we do that? How did we survive the, the 10 rounds or whatever to actually make it through? An, an awesome feeling. I'd love that to happen again, but I don't know if it ever will, but I'm glad it actually has. No, you got people running down congratulating you in, in your face, you know, you're, that's probably the biggest part, everyone coming down and, and being a part of it, it's not just sort of the crew, it's, it's a club that's built around it and it doesn't matter who in the club's in it. My daddy, you know, he took that crew previously for the first one I won and as the first time he probably said he's, he's proud of me for, for a lot of years uh, was when I won that first gold. Way and there was a bit of chaos, there was boats running into one another uh, and we weren't sure whether we'd actually got it or, or not so it was a bit of a delayed feeling it just in the it, you know in the bottom of your mind you, you think yeah we've got this we've got this but don't get too excited yet. I don't think it really sunk in until the following day at the Bodies convention when um, you see your surf boat hanging off the roof. Uh, I think it really sinks in then that you've, you've actually made it, you've, you've won an Australian gold medal. After the year of 99 when we got disqualified we we thought we'd won, and we thought we'd won for 15 minutes or so until we got told that uh, we missed the gate can. So that was pretty emotional. That was from going from a massive high to basically absolute devastation, you know, and it took a while to get over that. So a couple of us went overseas, other boys went overseas. Uh, I decided to go to Sydney. That's where I decided to, to sweep. And lucky enough to get a, a good crew together. And, that, that year, the very next year, we ended up winning the, the Open title again. Oh, beautiful job from Palm Beach. They rode over the top of it. Look at them coming home now. Lyle Clark, he says, pick it up. Bring me home. Bring me home to gold. It was like I'd been working for something for so long, and when I'd actually reached it, it was, um, I didn't know how to feel when I'd got there. For four years, I'd been talking up with all my mates. I'm going to do a backflip when I do when I got over the line. First thing I'm going to do is do a backflip. Everybody I saw knew about it. You're you're so proud of what you've done. Um, you know how hard it is. You you've got an appreciation of what it is to achieve it. And so you go to the pub and you can't just stop. You can't stop telling people, and your friends can't stop telling people. I don't think they understand what it's about until you can talk to them and tell them that it'll change your life. But when all of a sudden there's people they don't know saying that's unbelievable, that's when you know that you've changed somebody's life. As an adult, there's probably more bragging rights in the pub, but I think you actually do change a young person's life if you can give them that sort of achievement after they've put in all that disciplined work. When it's something that you finally achieve after so many years of trying, I think it definitely when you win your first one, that's something you, 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 know, you never experience that twice. I mean those sort of times you just you, you, you never forget them, you're, you're just very fortunate if you've been, uh, been lucky enough to experience them. It's something that you just dream about and you try and imagine how good you're going to feel and it's, it's even better than that, it's just so good and oh, it's the best sensation ever and you just, you want it again and again, you want to have that moment. What a story, one of the great stories of these championships. I thought, yeah we did it, we did it, how good does this feel? You know, I, I don't think I've ever experienced a satisfaction like 
I did that, that first time that we won gold. You're virtually numb inside, but you can't yell hard enough and get out of your own body. But I, I just, that much energy, I, you just felt like you just walked onto that beach. You can, you can run up the side of those buildings up there. It's just, not, the boys weren't tired and they rode the race of their life. Downright amazing feeling across that line. I'll never ever forget it. That's where I saw the sweeps Richard's arms, arms go up. I heard the crowd just yelling and cheering. I thought, we've done it. Can't believe it. Australian champions. To experience Karawa is something that you can only know what it feels like if you've been part of it. Let's have a drink today and celebrate Karawa. It's been good to us. Let's go somewhere else and enjoy ourselves as well.